my name's uh, David Pitt. I work at the First People and Equity Pathways Directorate. I help look after tuition, uh, graduation, scholarships, and do a little bit of PR work and a bit of marketing. And I've got my son, Nathan, with me. Uh, yeah, I've just started this year as a first year psychology student here at SEU. Our Indigenous heritage uh, stems back from my great-great-great-grandmother. So we're, we're proud Yemen men. Um, where Yemen is, it's in the area of near Taroom, which is two, two hours west of Toowoomba. My first contact with ACU was uh, looking for a course that I could make a difference because um, I really felt like education, being able to get out there and teach children um, would benefit, benefit a lot of people. And so I started, started doing that and I completed my associate uh, degree in education. Now working with the directorate, I'm helping a number of students. What I do now, it's a very administrative role and looking at the being the best that I can, I can be, I've decided to study business and I'm actually doing business part-time while I'm, while I'm here. I actually get to see the whole student life uh, from the moment they enrol to the moment they graduate. The establishment of the Indigenous Higher Education Units across each campus has been a very important thing for culture. We don't actually just support our students, we actually educate the workers as well, our, our co-workers. What is culturally appropriate, what's um, taboos, what they, what, what um, students are experiencing. I get to know the students through our Indigenous support units. I get to see students that are starting, they're shy, they might not be able to take on a full workload. And then over the years you get to see them taking on that full load. They're going from passes to credits to distinctions to high distinctions. You get to see them grow. So part of my role is to promote the scholarships within our units and with that uh, our scholarship numbers have actually increased. That's been a great success for a number of students because some of those scholarships will can make or break a student. If they're struggling, for example, if a student's living out on community, um, they have two or three computers available at their community, very little Wi-Fi or internet access, that scholarship money can go directly into a new computer. That gives them an equal edge uh, to other students who live in the city. If we didn't have the scholarships available, if we didn't have the tuition available, um, if we just weren't here to listen, um, those students may have, may have found it too hard, uh, too difficult, and have decided not to study. Whether they're a business major, whether they're an education major, whether they're a midwife, whether they're a nurse, you know once they leave here, they're gonna be touching hundreds of people in their career. So then you kind of think, well, I've helped that person, and then I'm actually helping the people that they touch. We're helping beyond the university, and that's a really, really good feeling. I'm involved in a number of projects. One of the, one of the things are, is our government-supported tertiary tuition program, because a lot of our students, even though we have ones like Nathan who come from school, um, and like Nathan's a year out of school, we have a lot of mature age students as well. Um, and some of those mature age students haven't been in high school for at least five, six, seven years. And this tuition actually allows uh, a bit of support to help them get, get their uh, study system back to where it should be. The tutoring service has been absolutely excellent. Well, with the help of the tutor, I've been able to pick up things and learn a lot of extra things that they don't kind of um, go over in the tutorials and lectures normally. Yeah, with the first summit I needed to submit, it was definitely beneficial and for that first assignment I actually got a distinction for it. So yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I was originally drawn to psychology as it was something that I've always really kind of been interested in, you know, looking at the psycho psychological aspects of just kind of daily life. From that I'm actually looking at going into criminal or forensic psychology and really kind of looking at the, the minds of criminals and not only why they do what they do but also how I can help rehabilitate them into society and you know, really reintegrate them to be you know, just functional members of society really. Uh, there's a, still a real stigma behind, a negative stigma behind Indigenous people in, in their relation to the law. So definitely being able to get in and break that cycle of 
young Indigenous Australians being you know, involved in criminal activity and ending up in jail. So certainly being able to help them by you know, removing that negative stigma is definitely, definitely something that I think would really help all Indigenous Australians as a whole. For Indigenous Australians who are looking for someone to help them with any kind of mental health issues, there's a real lack of Indigenous psychologists to provide that support. Um, you know, if someone else who wasn't from an Indigenous background were to provide the same support, they might not understand certain aspects of the culture or their kind of thoughts on things. So being able to provide that to more people, that's really something that I'm trying to strive towards. ACU provided not only that kind of community involvement that I was really looking for, but also the Indigenous support and the ability to go out from just studying in the uni, head out into communities that I wouldn't be able to reach otherwise and really get in there and help them and kind of bring what I've learnt to those places and that's something that not a lot of other universities gave the opportunity to do.